Here we are for another episode of Rio's How To with your host, Rob Harkins. Today, we're gonna to talk about fishing out of a drift boat. This has been one of our more popular requests that we get on what to do videos about. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with describing the drift boat, telling you the features of it, and what you're gonna look for when you do get in a drift boat for a guide trip or with one of your friends. What we're fishing out of here today is a 16-foot Clackacraft Eddy, which most drift boats are designed for three people, two anglers and a guide who is in the middle. This here is the front of the boat, which gets confusing every once in a while, but you have the front of the boat, and it has a casting brace here. And what this does is you put your torso in here, it's gonna keep you steady, stable, and you're gonna be able to face forward and make casts to either side of the river at a 45 degree angle, where you're gonna be able to present that fly to the fish off the bank at a nice angle where the fish will see the fly before he sees the boat. We do have a stripping deck here, and when you're fishing, your line tends to get caught in whatever it can on the boat. So when you're fishing out of the front of the boat, you're able to strip that line right into the deck. The other great feature is you have opposite rod holders. So there's rod holders facing back and there's rod holders facing forward. So it's easy to just turn around and grab another rod. Let's get on the water now and I'll show you the basics of fishing out of drift boat. Before I start fishing, let's just go over a couple features. A little, it, it, I guess it's, we call it a safety meeting is one, listen to the guide when he tells you something. Uh, he's doing it for your safety before you get in the boat. He's going to go over all the safety measures. There's gonna be PFDs in the boat and he's gonna tell you what he expects from you as far as shifting weight and doing other things. The biggest part to remember is there's gonna be two people fishing in the boat, one in the front, one in the back. So ideally, if there's a left and a right-handed person in the boat, no one is gonna be casting over the boat over the guide if we're fishing to one direction. But the most common mistakes that people make are casting at 12 o'clock from the boat, which is now bringing your fly over the back angler and the guide. The person in the back of the boat will be fishing straight across, quartering down a little bit, but they generally want to keep their fly line in back of the oars. The person in the back should wait until the person in the front is done. It's pretty simple as far as the mechanics in the technique that you're gonna be using when you're fishing out of the boat. The guide will tell you where he wants to fly, whether it's right on the bank, a little bit off. You just need to make that cast, get as long as a drift as you can. Since you're in a moving boat, it should not be too hard. And as soon as it starts to drag, just lift up, and make your cast again. Minimal false casting if possible. You wanna look ahead at all times, pick your next spot. So you're casting, you don't wanna be staring at your fly completely the whole time. You wanna get ready for the next cast, wherever it would be, pull it out of the way, in this case of an overhanging tree, and then get ready for the next cast. One of the best lessons that I've learned as far as casting out of a boat, how to be more accurate, is you have your fly drifting down and you're getting ready to pick your new spot is swing the tip of your rod to where you want your next cast to make and then lift up and make the cast. It's gonna make you a lot more accurate. A lot of times when you're fishing terrestrials and grasshoppers, you wanna be aggressive and get your fly into the brush. That means a couple things. You're gonna lose a lot of flies when you get hung up. The best thing to do is when you do get hung up, hold on to your line and just point the rod straight at the fly until the fly breaks up. Nice. There's gotta be a fish right off that. You know there is. Fat chubby. Oh yeah. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. So yes, good hook up. Ah, <laughs> there he oh. is. Can you hand me the net, please? You got it, buddy? So we got a little guy that ate the stone fly. All right. Now make sure that your rod is properly secured when you put it down. And if you're gonna lean over the boat to release a fish, just make sure you hold on and you're not gonna fall out. But got a nice little fish there. Come on. 
I safe. And let's let them go. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of Rio's How To. If you enjoyed it, please go to rioproducts.com and go to the TV channel and watch the rest of the series.